Hello friends. Today in this video, we will learn how to get different date formats or how to perform different type of operations in JMeter. Okay. So first of all, let's open the JMeter. Under the test plan, let's add a thread group. And under the thread group, let's open a add a one sampler, HTTP sampler. Okay. So over here we will see what all uh, uh, type of formats we can uh, pick for the JMeter. Okay. What all formats we are doing today? First of all, let's say if we need time in milliseconds, how we can do that? Date time in milliseconds. How we can get it? So for that, what we need to do? We need to mention dollar then curly brackets under that underscore two times and then time shift this is the function and then the brackets four times comma and okay let's add one listener as well to see the results and execute it and see what we get so here sorry in the here so this is something we got this is the date time in the milliseconds let's give it a name as milliseconds now we will add another thread group not thread group uh, another sampler where we will add another format for the date so if we let's say uh, we want the same dollar curly brackets underscore underscore time shift and then small brackets one two three four commas and in the beginning only we need to mention the format if let's say we want the format as a uh, dd and then uh, mm dash y y y y if we execute it let's clear the previous results first and then now we will execute it and we'll see how it goes so this is a millisecond and this is the date format dg mm y y y y okay date format as dd mm y y y y okay so in the similar way if you want uh, some other formats uh, we can uh, uh, try with these manipulations only like if uh, we change the order or if we want it other ways we can do that if let's say i want uh, it as a year first then month and then day so i have uh, made this change y y y y mm and then dd and if i'll execute it let's see how it goes it should print in that order okay first month and then this here you go y y y y year then month and then date okay if let's say i want uh, to add the time as well okay so let's uh, copy it and paste it it will save some of our time and uh, what i want is after this date i want to print time as well what is the current time okay so let's first uh, uh, see like what format we want let's say i want the format as a this is the format i want so similar thing i'll do here after dd i'll give one space and then what i'll do hh for r and then mm for minutes and then ss for seconds okay so now we'll execute it and we'll see how it goes okay millisecond 
date format and time format can you see it failed because there is a, uh, no data in that so it can fail but that is not a concern for us our main thing is to see the format this is the date format and the time it's 4 6 4 hours 16 minutes and 45 seconds okay so these are the three formats we covered till now after this what we will do these are the basic format things now the main thing is if let's say i want some future time okay or if let's say i want uh, uh, made some operations in the with the date let's say i want to uh, from the current date i want to add one day in the current day how we can do that okay so add one sampler here and the name let's give it as a current date plus one okay so whatever will be the current date it will add one day in that value okay so how we can do that format is similar dollar curly brackets mr underscore time format sorry time shift and then the format in which we want it dd mm y y y y and then after two commas we need to mention p p is for plus addition how many days we want let's say we want it one day in that okay and then two comma after that simple so let's see uh, let's clear the previous results first and then we will see what happened what data we are getting now millisecond then see today is 30 30th august okay and when we add one day here what it is showing me 31st it's 31st date 8th august month and 2021 it's ddmmyy format so this is the same format we mentioned over here so this is the way we can add a day in the current date it can be uh, uh, one day or five day ten day it can be any day if let's say we want to add up uh, like i want to see what will be the day after uh, 100 day or 200 day from today so what i can do we just need to update this value in place of one if let's say i'll uh, uh, do okay let's add 365 days okay and we'll execute and we'll see what happened now so initially it was 31 it was showing that is a future date now the future date is 38 and 2022 you see here it changed now so this is the way we can add the date over here if let's say we want to add date plus some time in that so how we can do that so let's do one thing let's copy it this particular request and paste it scroll up move up and then one day plus time at how we can do that so for that what we need to do is the format is similar ddmmyy is uh, fine but after yy we need to provide the time format as well okay so let's say time format is hh for hour minutes and then seconds after that what we need to do okay let's change this 365 days to only one day i want to add one day and the time will be T for time let's say uh, 2 hours from now and uh, 10 minutes from now okay this is something I want to add in the 
current date time and we'll see how it goes now okay first let's uh, stop uh, stop it and clear the previous results and now we will execute it okay so here we'll see millisecond is there date format is there time current time is 162205 and the new time will be is you see this is the 31 day and 2 hours and 10 minutes are added over here 1622 and 1832 you see so this is the way we can add time and date in any specific date okay so after that if let's say uh, we want uh, i want some past date not future date so how we can do that let's copy it and paste it move it up update its uh, uh, name to minus one day and what we will do now is the date format is same but we will do and then this instead of 365 it will be one day and this is p p means plus so what we are doing plus minus one day so that means what it will do it will subtract one day from the current date okay let's clear the previous results and see how it goes this time so all the dates format should be displayed millisecond is there and then uh, some other formats but uh, all formats we have selected and then current date minus one day this is 29 8 and 2021 okay so this is the past date so this is the way we can get the past date if there is one more situation is there let's say we have some specific date whether that's a past date future date till now we were working with the current date the system date we are not passing any date value let's say we need to pass some date value and then we need to perform these operations whether it's addition or subtraction okay so for that let's add one more sampler and move it up give it a name date specific date okay so the basic format is again the same dollar curly brackets underscore then time shift and after that small brackets first of all the format what we want dd mm y y y y then comma then that specific date if let's say i am uh, picking some date uh, uh, 10 dash 10 dash 2010 let's say this is the date on which i want some operations to perform and i want to add let's say a five day in this date okay so p 5 d then simple two comma that's it so now clear the previous results and execute it now to see what results we are getting from it so all the results will be there will be getting displayed now all the date formats what we have learned and okay so might be we uh, have forgot something let's see what we miss here okay i think uh, it's not uh, recognizing this uh, slash so let's make it dash instead of forward slash replace that value with the dash and now we'll execute it clear the results and execute it now we'll see what value we will get for the update specific date okay current date current date minus one day and then update specific date so here you see this is the 15 10 2020 15 is the 15th october now what we give 
we give 10 October and we want to add 5 days. If let's say we want to subtract 5 days, minus, we just added minus over here, clear pre previous results, execute it again. And we'll see what we will get now in this date format. So we should get 5th October 2010 this time. And we'll see. Okay. Update specific. Yeah, here we see go. Then it's a 5 October 2010. Okay. So in today's session, we learned about the different operations or different formats of date function. So uh, thanks for the uh, time and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more things about the JMeter, some advanced uh, technologies or advanced terms or advanced functions we are using in the JMeter. Thank you.